Hi friends, how are you? Hope all are fine. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, today the topic is uh, holding inspector. You know the there is we have the CC 3.1 TWI AWS TWI holding inspector course. So today we'll go one by one section by but uh, today it is not possible all section cannot complete section one will go for first uh, first section will go the first section one. So section one what is this uh, the duties and responsibilities. So you go to the next page. What is the main responsibilities of duties and responsibility? What is the main responsibility? It is a code compliance, workmanship control, and the documentation control. These three things is the main responsibility is the for welding responsibility, welding inspector. For welding inspector, the main three responsibilities are there: code compliance, workmanship control, and the documentation control. So, what is the code compliance? Code compliance means you are following the codes ask me or aws that it is compliance the requirement that is called code compliance that is, that you are doing the welding as per we standard and it is and that standard uh, that standards compliance the requirement second workmanship control what is workmanship control workmanship control if you don't have the good workmanship then welding Maybe quality welding it cannot be it cannot be performed. Quality welding for quality welding definitely we need the workmanship, good workmanship. Means you should have the good feet up, good bevel angle and uh, face uh, face uh, width, root gap, everything should be under control. This is called workmanship control. And what does it start this documentation control? So whatever you did for welding uh, from feet up to before welding after welding or whatever the documentation are required as per the project to project is very if you if you go the pqp project quality plan that is we made in the any project we have to go for pqp in pqp there is so many formats are there in the in the project beginning it is finalized that this document we need to maintain for the documentation control this documentation we need so we need to follow that, that documentation so these three things are required for the welding inspector they need to follow what is personal attributes important qualities that good inspector are expected to have but they should have simply this one is for all not is for all, not for only the welding inspector you have the you don't you should have honesty integrity knowledge good communicator physical fitness and good eyesight this one two three four six things you have you should have you should have the personal attributes eyesight is very important is the welding inspector otherwise you cannot see the welding any defect is coming in the uh, 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 above side the welding visual means the above side of the welding upper side of the welding the face side you cannot see The standard of for visual inspection. What standard we are following? The basic requirement. The BSEN 970 is very important. BSEN 970 non-destructive examination for fusion welding visual examination. So this 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 BSEN 970 we are using for visual visual examination. What welding inspection personal welding inspection personal should be familiar with the relevant standard rules and specification applicable to the fabrication work to the undertaking means if you're doing one fabrication if it is uh, if we structure steel it is going as per awsd 1.1 so he should familiar with awsd.1 fully so what are, what are the requirement if you go the welding what are the basic requirements are there so he should know so welding inspection personal he should know this one be informed about the welding procedure to be used which welding procedure to be used for particular job he should know before he welding inspect inspection personnel he go to site he will check that welding procedure already approved there 
so then only we can they can start the job have good vision he have the definitely good vision which should be checked every 12 months without good vision is very difficult you cannot check any visual welding properly so this is the basic requirement of visual inspection what is welding inspection the welding inspection condition for visual inspection uh, this is bsc 970 illumination what illumination uh, how much need this 350 lux minimum required recommended 500 lux normal soft for office lighting recommended this 500 lux but the 300 350 lux minimum required vision access is i should be within 600 mm of the surface your joint from the from the joint to your eye it should be anywhere any place from the any plus surrounding areas it should be 600 mm not more than 600 mm and the angle and the view angle this is very important and the view angle to be not less than 30 degree this should not be less than 30 degree it's always should be more than 30 degree then only you can visible you will be visible then uh, the building will be visual at properly It's very important these two to think 300 soft lux minimum required illumination recommended lux is 500 lux is is this the ccc.1 if you go this question always come this two and vision access eyesight should be within 600 mm of the surface and being and that it should not be less than three less than 30 degree it's to visual inspection it is a VSEN 970 again when access is restricted may use what what are the requirement you have to use a mirrored boroscope a fiber optic beam system usually by agreement if it is agreement by your client and uh, contacted then it's a mirror boroscope and the fiber optic beam system we need other it's what the other requirement welding gauges dedicated weld gap gauge and linear misalignment high locate that is called high locage stretch edges and measuring tapes and magnifying lens this whole things is very important other than two that's above one the mirrored boroscope and the fiber optic viewing system this is requirement is project to project value but if the mirror boroscope is always everywhere if you go the client will tell you the where is the mirror boroscope this is it's very important also other aid when the restricted means when means when access is restricted when you cannot go some areas in that area you must need the mirror boroscope if you go the oil and gas refinery the some of the piping places you cannot go there so you need the mirror boroscope that time other it's like welding gauges is for checking i will tell i will show you the welding gauges in the next page maybe next or another page for checking bevel angle weld profile fillet sizing undercut tape this is the welding gauges he welding gauges can check this one bevel angle check welding profile can check fillet sizing check undercut tape dedicated weld gap gauge and the linear misalignment that is called high locage high locage means the weld gap if the when you are doing fitting the root position the root face area the connecting area if it is not properly there is high low then it is a problem so we need to check the high low gauge it is a it is a limited under limitation as per the standard straight edges and measuring tape measuring tape so it is the length may be requirement check magnifying glass magnifying lens magnifying lens you can check that if magnifying magnification lens used it should have magnification between x2 or x5 two times or five times it should be more than if you see any any object it should be more than two times or five times it's called magnifying lens magnifying lens we can see the see the view any defect is very clearly Welding inspected equipment. What equipment is need in welding inspector need to be check at site. 
measuring devices with flexible tape steel rule is very 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 important things flexible tape and steel rule second is temperature indicated clients is called the infrared temperature you have to check some type of interface temperature so you need this temperature indicating clients welding gauges is must need you need to check the bevel angle root phase then uh, high low gauge if there is uh, any problem in the root and uh, root areas if it is there is up down voltmeter che checking the voltage ammeter if this voltage we need to check as per WPS it is maintaining or not ammeter is the same thing you have to check in WPS as per it is maintaining the WPS or not magnifying glass you must need to check the check the defect if there is a defect you check the you can check the properly torch flashlight torch light those areas you cannot accessible so we need torch in that area to um, any any holding if the area that there is not accessible so the holding can check by flashlight so you can see the holding visual gas flow meter gas flow meter also need sometimes You see, welding inspector gauge. Uh, usually, we are using these three welding gauges at sight. It's very important. Wherever you can go, you can see these welding gauges you are using at sight. There's a fillet weld gauges. So we are using these fillet weld gauges. You see. Uh, next one, I will do one video after maybe this after this video. Maybe tomorrow uh, or day after tomorrow. This all this video. How how you can how uh, how you can check these three from uh, these three equipment direct in the world you see fillet voltage and twi multi-purpose welding gauge and misalignment gauges high low gauge you can understand here misalignment gauges is root is how much up down so if you do this type of defect if there is a limitation if there as per standard if it is under limitation okay if it is uh, limitation it is more than the limitation then you cannot do welding same thing here twi multi-purpose holding gauges you see the his throat he's checking the throat if the throat thickness is uh, it is it's under limitation is okay if it is beyond limitation then i have to reject the holding holding What is the requirement of welding inspector equipment is same voltmeter and ammeter is the dust i give one picture here so how it is look like is the tongue tester is the voltmeter we can check from voltmeter is here and the ammeter we can check ammeter is this machine this call this machine is called the tongue tester welding inspection stage of visual inspection Holding inspection a stage of visual inspection extent of examination and when required should be defined in the application standard or by, or by agreement between the contracting parties for high integrity fabrication inspection required throughout the fabrication process so stage of what is the stage of visual inspection so you have to check the visual inspection there should be there should be the stage one is before holding before assembly and after assembly during welding and after welding so these four areas four times you need to check the, your phase one inspection before welding is very important before welding before assembly and after assembly during welding after welding we'll go in the next page i'll clarify you see here before welding the preparation familiarization with relevant documents what is before holding what to what need to check applicable standard code for visual acceptance requirement what is the applicable standard if it is ask me if it is ask me and if it is if sometimes it is related to b31.3 if it is go to the piping then b31.3 and the ask me you have to correlate these two codes and we have to check the requirement is the same as there the application standard code for visual acceptance requirement drawing is must need item details and position tolerance which you need to check that the drawing is approved or not is approved and what are the drawing mentioned the fillet weld or the groove weld what is how, what is the sketch sketch is there so we need to check from there we can check the uh, all these uh, details of drawing details of uh, sketch of welding 
quality control procedure definitely there should be quality control procedure like uh, welding control procedure is there weld repair procedure should be there so many procedures should be there all this because if, if anything happen in welding there is a defect so how do how will repair this defect so we need that repair procedure weld repair procedure so quality control procedure for activities such as material handling it definitely need documentation control is the how how they will make the documentation how they control the document so they should they should have one procedure storage and issue of welding consumables is very important how you will store your welding consumable that is the manufacturer recommendation every manufacturer recommendation is different so we have to check purchase the when we'll purchase the electrode after that when we'll use that site then we need to check the manufacturer recommendation how will storage it is baked in which temperature and how much time we have to stay uh, we have to bake duration in which temperature so we need to know quality plan inspection test plan inspection checklist it is very important in the this call itp inspection and test plan is very important and the checklist what need to check before proceeding any activity we need to checklist inspection checklist should be there details of inspection requirement inspection procedure and record sequel this is before holding we need to check all these things also we have to check before holding welding procedures are applicable to join to be welded and approved welding procedure must be approved are available to welders and inspector and it should be available to welder and inspector before start the welding welders should aware all these things uh, inside the wps what are the root gap and uh, face width and bevel angle maybe who will check by himself that joint is okay so he can start the welding same as inspector welder qualification list of available qualified welder related to wps and certified are valid in debt there should be certificate welder certificate should be there and that's called wpq the performance qualification in that basis we can make the card welder card you see there is a before holding typical details of equipment all inspection equipment in good condition and calibrated as necessary definitely it should be calibrated before start the welding all equipment should be calibrated without calibrated we cannot start any welding all safety requirements are understood and necessary equipment safety pep talk should be there before welding there should be what is the hazard or their safety hazard and uh, safety welding safety they should know materials what materials can be identified and related to test certificate and testability yes are of correct dimension yes are in suitable condition so what material is there how we know this material is correct so can be identified what is the identified how old there is any heat number then heat number we can trace through the direct material test certificate and that material certificate we can check the material test certificate what material grade is there that grade is matching with the wps so there is a traceability that is called uh, can be identified and related to test certificate traceability a correct dimension dimension is correct or not so check the before holding that all dimension holding method whatever the dimension as per the wps is correct or not are in suitable condition there should not be any damage or contamination consumable in according with wps there should be definitely it, it should be according with wps consumable what wps has mentioned that the uh, consumable that consumable you want to want to oh, oh, we need to use are being controlled according to its procedure yes old preparation comply with wps drawings free from defects and contamination old preparation complying comply you have to comply as per the wps and drawing old preparation same what are the dimensions are there we have to prepare as per this free from defect and contamination we have to check there should not be any defect and contamination in the blade before start the welding definitely there should be have UT report and all these reports empty so you can under you can confirm that this blade is okay so you can start the uh, start the joint design and joint preparation and after that you can start the welding
Welding equipment in good order and calibrated as required by procedure. Definitely welding equipment needs the calibrated. Without calibration, you cannot start the welding. And the calibration that is the frequency is there, maybe three months, sometimes six months. So if, if it is sometimes happen is the old uh, voltage and emitter is not um, it's not uh, giving proper uh, value at the time of welding. So we can check again calibration. And we have to if there is a repair, so we have to repair the holding machine, then you have to replace the new machine. Heat up complies with WPS, definitely it should be comply with WPS. Number and size tack wells of the coat of Kokmalthin. How many tack wells you need in the if there is a welding in the pipe welding, so how many tack wells you need the before for the full weld? So you need then the tack weld size and tack weld uh, length you need to know. Preheat if specified minimum temperature complies the WPS. If specified, definitely it will be mentioned in the WPS. So you have to follow the WPS. All this, whatever in the doing in the welding, you have to follow the WPS. Typical duties of the welding inspector during welding. During welding, what you need to check very important weather condition suitable, UT side or field welding. Yes. With the condition if it is side and field welding we have to check suitable for uh, this welding we can do at site or field so with the condition we need to check because if the moisture is more then uh, it will be you have to heat the joint properly then only you can you can you can start the welding welding process in according with WPS definitely this should be WPS after if there is a SMW we have to do a SMW if it is make then you have to do make welder is approved to weld the joint welder yes yes he uh, is approved to the welder he he should be approved before we during welding during welding he inspector should check before welding also check but uh, during welding also welder is approved to the weld the joint preheat if required minimum temperature as specified by wps maximum interface temperature as wps so pre temperature is the always mentioned this 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 these two things are very important Minimum temperature as specified WPS and maximum interface temperature as WPS. During welding, welding consumable and occurring with WPS in suitable condition, control issue and handling. This is during welding. Welding parameter definitely current voltage and WP you need to check that is matching with your WPS or not. Uh, the, the, this, uh, this current voltage and double space is follow the WPS or not. Route runs if possible, visually inspected route before single sided wells are filled up. If possible, route run visually inspect. Definitely, if possible, if it is pipe, if it is the very small pipe, small bore pipe, you cannot go inside, then you cannot check. If it is the big pipe, you can go inside, so you can check. If possible. That's why it's mentioned. Internal cleaning definitely it is very important in accordance with an approved method and back gouging to good workmanship standard. There should be good workmanship standard. If there is a good not workmanship, so some areas if there is a slag inside, then if the slag is not removed, then it will become in the in when the radiograph it will come there is a slag inclusion is there. So you have to good back gouging it should be there, and it means internal cleaning. Distortion control welding is balanced and overbalanced. Well, what welding is avoided? It should be distortion means if you do more than more than requirement, then this is there should be maybe distortion will come. If the stress develops in some areas, then maybe it will be it will be some areas maybe crack will come. So you have to control the distortion means welding it should be balanced. Over welding is is avoided. After holding, no, after holding, build identification. After holding, immediately you have to put the identified number as required. So before that, that's why before holding, you have to we have to we have to make we have we have to old map. We have to we have to available the old map at site. So that in old map, when 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 will join will be finished, then definitely immediately you have to go there. 
immediately you have to pull the identification number as a record and also very important if mark with older identity older number should be there visual inspection ensure world is suitable for all entities yes it should be all entity if there is a as per wp if there is an entity procedure required entity any non destructive testing so we have to go there we have to go through the all entity procedure testing visually inspect and sentence to code requirement definitely visually we have to inspect the uh, full holding and sentence on we have to check the code what is code installing as per code it is okay or not dimension of survey ensure dimension comply with the code drawing how will how will control the ensure dimension that we have the holding cage i already shown to you the three cages we have to time we have to check the all dimension is correct other entity ensure all entities completed and report is available ensure we have to check after holding all entities is completed and reports are available after welding also there is a repair if there is a repair monitoring repairs to ensure compliance with procedure ensure ndt after repair is completed definitely after ndt if there is a repair and also you have if repair says so repair you have to you have to be done and you have to ensure that repairs has been completed there should be proper documentation pwht postal heat treatment monitor for compliance with procedure check chart records confirm for compliance monitor for compliance with procedure so repairs we have to check the in the repairs this this areas pwst monitor to compliance with procedure check chart records confirm procedure compliance pressure load test ensure test equipment is suitably calibrated it should be monitored to ensure compliance with procedure okay ensure all records are available so this Load test. We have to check the all load test. This test document, whatever the test document in those test load test is there, it should be should be calibrated. It should be checked that it's in a compliance with procedure or not. Also, ensure all records are available. So this is the third load test. After holding the, then the very important part is the documentation. Ensure any modification are on as well drawings. Ensure all required documents are available. Collect file documents for manufacturing record. Find all documentation and forward it to QC department. So ensure any modification as an well as well. If there is a as well drawing, there is a modification. So we need to change the you need to change the change this particular drawing in the final revision. So ensure any modification are done or not. If there is a modification, then you need to go again that area and you have to check the holding all these things. If there is a there is a modification, maybe some pipes are coming, so you have to again connection in the connection pipe on that area. Uh, you have to do holding again. If this type of just giving one example as well, drawing. Ensure all record documents are available. Definitely, you should check the all documents from the starting from WPS to and the last. All documents should be there. File documents are manufacturing record. Sign all documents and forward to QC department. After all this signed, you have to share, you have to forward it to QC department. This is the responsibility of your holding inspector. He should send the all document to QC department. Last is summary of duties. It is the duty of holding inspector to ensure all the welding and associated action are carried out in accordance with the specification and applicable procedure. This is the main duty. It is the duty of welding inspector to ensure all welding and associated action carried out. So we have to do any welding means it's all means like this. We have to do any welding as per the WPS and PQ. Or applicable codes as me AWS P31.3, 31.8, whatever it is applicable. A holding inspector must observe. There is three point is there. Is it in CC 3.1 is very important. What is the what is the three point in for holding inspector? Observe, record, and compare. First observe means you are observing the holding, and in, in that through observe all relevant actions related to the old quality throughout the production all related related to the 
weld quality so related to the weld quality means what if you if you follow the wps what are the uh, current voltage position whatever are there if you follow then you can achieve the weld quality is good because wps we wps we prepare the base final wps always prepare based on the pqr so definitely that will be the good quality so we have to first observe which is going to record to record and log all production inspection points relevant to quality including a final report showing all identified imperfection so we have to record all the, if there is a, if there is an imperfection means observe you, you have find out any observe the imperfection so we have to record out that in the final report we have to mention there is a flag input on there is porosity you have to mention all this imperfection there and what are the lengths of their proper dimension and compare and to compare all recorded information with the accepted criteria and any other relevant clauses in the applied applicable standard so you have to check when you got this any observe there is an imperfection on there so you have to check in the accepted criteria it is acceptable or not if it is acceptable then it's okay the, definitely there may be there will be imperfection it's uh, maybe not 100 percent correct but we have to check that imperfection it is within the with the accept within the accepted criteria or not so i think this duties of holding inspector so this section one i think it's complete now so we cannot go this section two it will be very long so next episode or next video it will come the uh, section two so i'm telling i will tell you today so what is section two section two i'll go next video so, but i will tell you section two is the terms and definition so today i think all are watching this video thanks a lot take care